More no, comedy. Y y Cat out. Williams. Kevin Hart. Tiffany Haddish. Mm. Uh, the, mm. the, did, did you see? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you seen all that has yeah, happened? I've, with seen, that? I've been seeing the drama. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've seen the drama. So. Cat Williams made some statements about Tiffany Haddish, Harris, um, um, uh, what was his what, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, um, um, uh, Gerard Carmichael, oh. uh, Little Rel, it's just a whole bunch of them. And, okay. what, and when I watched the video, and what I took from it is Cat Williams was really talking about the establishment, how it's set up, and how, how we as comedians are being played by the establishment that is set up right okay so then he was being a little mean um it was a, a an atlanta morning show is a frank and one yeah the morning, yeah right so it's like 103.9 or something like that and it was like it was like a Pants are going back. The, the one of the hosts came for Cat Williams and just literally he's just <laughs> talking about his hair and, ah. then, and then his suit and he just like let her have it. Mm -hmm. And then he talked about some other stuff with Tiffany Haddish and it wasn't like so so um, nice, right? Right. And then Kevin Hart clapped back, 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 well, all the way back, all the way back. So Kevin Hart clapped back and then Tiffany had it on the Breakfast Club. We, we saw that. Well, yeah, because I, you know, because I didn't see the whole thing with Cat Williams. Oh, I didn't I watch did. that whole thing. What I saw was afterwards what people were saying about what he said and how he sounded like he was a hater. And then Kevin Hart came on and said, listen, they brother. They called him a cracker hater, basically. Right, basically. He basically and, <laughs> called him and, a cracker. And Mike Epps. He was like, Mike Epps, oh, yeah, you're doing drugs. but No, it? no, but that's, what he, that's his point. His point is, listen, you're talking about the establishment setting things up for certain comedians to succeed, right? Mm -mm. But he's like, at the end of the day, what about your choices? What have you done? Showing up late to shows. What's going on with all the drug use? You have responsibility for, you know, the demise of your own career. So don't come for, you know, my girl, Tiffany Haddish. So basically, you know. But Tiffany in, Haddish and Cat Williams. He stood up later They pieced it up at the Emmys, yeah. right? And so, like, they both have very good points. I just feel like Cat Williams was not really targeting uh, Kevin Hart on the onset, but then once the cat clap back, now now he just goes crazy. Like every time I try to like defend Cat Williams, it because he is a doggone comedic genius. Like have you, Cat Williams is so funny it does not make sense. But like but then he starts saying the mean stuff. Like I'm like Cat, don't say that. I think, I'm trying to for the underdog. But yeah, just I, guess, I think he's funnier than Kevin Hart. He's well, he's funnier than most comedians, and that was his thing. He said he said that Lunell needs to get a spot, and Adele Givens needs to get a chance, and some more. And all these comedians right. that've been doing it for thirty plus years, like where is their opportunity? And he said that what what Hollywood is doing subliminally is saying as as long as you have like have sex with like a white guy, then we'll we'll bring you in. And then Tiffany Hash was like, "What are you talking what about? What are you talking about that?" That happened, I but what know. happened in the movie? He she said something like Brad Pitt can get it right, and so he's that's, reaching. But, he's reaching. But that's what he was talking about. I don't think that. Okay, so he's reaching out. He's he's reaching and he's trying hard, but he needs to like just. But Kevin Hart get it together. Do for some do some and, good shows. And, and, and like they both be have consistent. very valid points. I think that uh, Cat Williams is very consistent. He's very very hard working. But I think that what's He's not very hardworking. He is. He does shows all over the country all Yo, the time. He's had some real run-ins though. Some real with the like, law, group, like look, look the law and acting crazy and the crack. Listen, yeah, I don't. You think you're on crack? He was on something. I don't know, but I do know <laughs> that they're all, all <laughs> the above. He's a comedian. Are very, very funny people, and I right. just feel as if like listening to the banter back and forth. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Taught me so many lessons, and it's about producing, about waiting for you know the big white media whomever to come in on this horse and save your day. You shouldn't do that because what they were arguing about was who owned their specials. Like, okay, you know, like it's it's really about owning your creative outlet. Like, okay, it. just like Prince says and everyone else says. Okay. You know, don't wait for the record deal because if you wait for the record deal, you're going to get not the lion's share mm -hmm. of your creativity. Well, that's, you know, and that's that what they were both kind of saying. They were like, who? Right. And it, it, it was a, I, I like that they were arguing because it's like just watching Kings okay. go back and forth and you can get the little, you okay. know. Well, you, you felt table. like it. you got something from I, it. I but felt I, that I got something for it. I, 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 I know that people are looking at it like, oh, you know, they're just being big old babies or whatever. But Cat Williams holds the, um, Cat Williams is very, very funny. Uh, Kevin Hart holds the top spot. It just is what it is. It and is. they're just very different. One is crossover market, like, 
Right. And one is it's it's just it's just like I guess what Red Fox would be, right? To Okay. To yeah. uh, who else, who else is crossover, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. I would have said Bill Cosby. You would have said Bill that's Cosby. Over now. Right, but right, because, right? <laughs> and what they that's say, when you listen to comedians, they'll say like they're they're comedians right. that are at the back of the club and they're like doing drugs and doing this and, <laughs> and then and there's comedians at the front of the club that are crossover, like it's so Dave Letterman okay. and and Bill Cosby and all of those people and then it was like you know well, listen, Richard Pryor and because it's a thing right? right comedy it stems from pain right Th those those people are broken every I, they're all broken I'm they're saying. not pastors well right well this so, is why you're a comedian too I'm you know, you, I am broken you, every, I think everyone comedian. is I think that the last phase of anything is can laugh at it like damn I right was, are you I, was, I was stupid as hell well I'm not laughing about glitter oh, God. but and I'm not laughing about Bill Cosby <laughs>